All right, well, today we've got this CyberPower UPC uh, battery backup that I've had for several years, and I actually left it unplugged for maybe like one or two years, which was a mistake. And the batteries inside of here are toast. So if you ever if you try to power it on, this is all I get. So instead of getting the name brand CyberPower batteries, which are pretty expensive online, I just went on Amazon and got some of these um, universal battery brand, um, they're much cheaper. So let's see if these will do the trick and bring this battery back up back to life. Let's get started. All right, let's start by taking off this front cover to get to the batteries that are inside. And there's a little screw on the bottom here. So let's do that real quick. This whole front should slide off. All right, and here's the two batteries we need to get out of here. It comes with these little pull tabs so we can just slide the whole, both of them right out of here. Oh, it looks like we need to disconnect these first. it like that looks about the same size so now as we take they seem to be glued together with uh, sticky paper so let's make sure we put these back together correctly so I'll put this one let's do it side by side Seems pretty straightforward so far. And that went through there. They just sat like that. So, all right, I had to go back and watch the video again because I got I confused myself a little bit here. So I'm gonna take this this new battery. And I'm just gonna match these up on it. So I'll just do that real quick. Okay, so now we can get this out of the way. So this runs into here. Okay, it even has it has little uh, symbols on here. Uh, positive and negative to line them up with the terminals. That's helpful. Which I saw that earlier. So, like that. And then this one goes down and out the front. And this one connects to the other battery. So I'll just run it like that, I guess. This one, this connects, so this black one with that blue um, shrink wrap connects to the red terminal and the battery on top. And these yellow terminals are the ones that go out through the middle of this tray. And this is what we're gonna connect to the unit itself. Okay, match them up with these yellow. So let's do that real quick. finagling in here to fit all of these in this tray. But I think I can get it. Okay, I think we got it. 
let's put this sticky thing back on here. Hold it all together for us somewhat. All right. Slide it back in here. All right, black to black, red to red. Looks like it's powering back on. Looks like it's got full capacity. Output 124 volts. Um, let's try to plug something into here and give it some load and see if it can uh, power something on with it unplugged. Let's do. Let's give that a go. All right, so I went ahead and unplugged it. It's beeping to let me know. And I have this DeWalt sander. I'm gonna see if this load changes once I plug this into here. Let me move it up here so you can see it better. Ah, seems to be fixed. Awesome. I'll plug it in, uh, let it charge up, and I'm going to put this back into play in my uh, media closet. So uh, uh, these batteries, I'll have a link to the batteries that I used in here in the description. They're a lot cheaper than the CyberPower brand batteries that they recommend. So I'll see how good these last. I'll post an update if uh, anything happens with them. So till then, I'll see you guys on the next project.